Hi guys, Steve here, and in this video I'm going to share gravity grenades. You can unlock them at level 79 on your tech tree, and you'll need to build them from a tech replicator. Turn it on. Go to weapons, explosives. You need 50 crystal, 200 element dust, 60 gunpowder, 30 metal ingots, and 60 polymer. Let's make a few. I'm going to start by testing them on myself. Take my armor off first to show you what damage or little damage they do. This has got two modes. We'll start off with a normal blue mode, which sucks everything towards it. And as you can see, it doesn't do much damage. This is more of an ability grenade than a damage one. I'll throw it again. Just a range. Lift you up in the air, it sucks you towards the centre. That one did a little more damage for that time. If you throw them fast, you can set multiple ones off at the same time. They bounce quite a lot. You've got about five seconds before they go off. They were just out of range. That's about a range limit of them. Just out of it. Go set one off after another. Now, if you press the right mouse button, the grenade will turn to yellow, and instead of sucking everything towards it, it repulses everything away from it. Just like so. And if you go high up in the air, you'll get full damage. Let's throw some more. I think that's out of range. Yep. Just. Go a bit closer. That's pushed me back quite far. Now, as a repulse function throws you up into the air, I thought about using it with glider wings so you can start off with more height. Let's see if this works. Because the grenades bounce so much, it's a bit hard to place them. Um, that one didn't work very well. It bounced too far away. Right, is that one going to get me? I think it's in range. I'm going to face the right way. Because that lifted me off the floor. And that will let me glide a bit further. Did a test and this is where I could go last time. Just by jumping off the side. That's the distance I travelled. Let's try both versions at the same time. Suck you in. And blow you out. I would say you could use this grenade as a crowd control device. If there was a group of players around each other, you could keep throwing them down, sucking them into each other, keeping them all in one place and doing small amounts of damage each time. Or if somebody else was throwing real grenades in as well and doing AoE damage. Let's try the grenade on a few dodos. Right, these are level 35. I spawn all the ones in at level 35 so you can see how much damage you do. Sucked me and the dodos together. It's not done that much damage to him. He's still alive. Let's try a repulse function. Flying dodos. <laughs> I bet it's the furthest I've ever flown. Right, let's use one against a bit bigger group. Lifts us all up into the air and sucks us all into the middle. Got some very angry doo doos. Now let's try for a pulse. Lifts them up again. Whee! <laughs> it's a family of flying dodos. 
Let's make things a little more comical. That's quite a lot of doo-doos. I get it. Oh, it's bounced off one. Lifted them all up. And stuck them on top of each other. Just pulled some of them outside the cage as well. Hope that worked better. Oh. Oh, that was a bit delayed. Maybe I had some number crunching to do then. Might have delayed it. Plus it's a bit hard to get out of the cage and be mobbed by dodos. Alright, repulse this time. Oh, that went to the wrong place. So did that. Bounce function's a bit annoying. It's raining dodos. Hallelujah, it's raining dodos. Only got half of them though. If they'll get a rest. Oh, all gone quiet. Whee! <laughs> I didn't know you could have so much fun with a grenade and a group of dodos. Now I'm going to try it on a larger group of dinos. Let's try the suction one. Pick them all up. Put them all in the middle together. Now for repulse function. See if there's a weight limit to it. Picks them all up. Throws them away. Doesn't look like there's a weight limit. Through the wrecks. If you've got people attacking you on the side of a cliff. You'll be able to do this. Would get full damage on the dinos. And it might even kill them if the riders stay on. Right, let's see what we can do against a Quetzal. I'll throw on its saddle. It doesn't like it, but because it landed right next to me, it didn't do much. Let's try a pulse one. Hopefully, this will push us away. Ooh, weird camera. Oh, so if people standing on the Quetzal, it might push it away f out from under them. If you wanted to tame a creature but it's getting attacked by another, you can use these grenades to separate them. Raptor's going flying. I suppose you can use the grenades to defend element nodes. The small dinos get caught in the spikes, and it's difficult to get them out without damaging the element. We have a little dillo down there. Put repulse mode on. And it goes flying away. <laughs> Throw some more down. So it's been attacked. I think, I think that was too far away. I'm right, pulling them. Oh, they're after me. Well, stopped from attacking the element. It's quite a high push. You can also use them to defend orbital drops. We have a red one here. A wave of dinos have come in. And you can use the gravity grenades to push them away from the shields or the drop. <laughs> now, for your teammates outside to kill them. That Pronto's come to mess with them. close enough. You can throw them outside the shields. There we go, that worked. Then just go off and kill it. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> well guys, that's a tech gravity grenade. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe if you've not already, and click the bell icon to get notified of when I upload next. There's links to other videos at the end. Comment on what you would like to see. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye.